my local home improvement store and I've gone to the section with some turnbuckles. That's what we're looking for. What we got here is the II turnbuckle and we're going to get the quarter inch by seven and a half inch. That's what we're going to need. So what we're going to do is find two flat washers that will go on the end of this. So since this is quarter inch, we're going to look at our flat washers here. And there's our quarter inch by one. So we're going to get two of these. Okay, we're going to need a hex nut to hold everything together. Since we have a quarter inch turnbuckle, we're going to look for a quarter inch hex nut. And here's where they are. Just going to grab one of these and that'll go in our turnbuckle. We're going to want to get two carabiners to help connect this to your hummingbird feeder. Plumbing section of our home improvement store over by where faucet repair is. And we're going to look for half inch flat washers, which are right here. We'll get a pack of them. We only need two, but we're getting them in a pack. It's $1.99. All right, so the only other thing you're going to need for your ant moat would be a container, plastic container. I'm going to use this 13 ounce plastic container from Trader Joe's, but you can get the containers from the deli at any supermarket that has your potato salad or coleslaw in it and just rinse it out. So I'm going to rinse this out. We don't need the lid. Okay, so I rinsed it, dried it, took off as much of the label as I could just so I'll be able to see the water level from on the porch. So here are all the pieces you're going to need to make your ant moat. You've got your plastic container, you've got two carabiners, and you've got a turnbuckle, two quarter inch flat washers, one quarter inch hex nut, and a half inch flat washers. There's 10 of them in here so you can make five ant moats if you want. You'll have extra. Okay, so I measured and marked the center of this. This uh, Trader Joe's container is cool because it has this little square recess makes it a little bit easier, but I measured the center. I got a piece of scrap wood from my husband's wood pile, and I'm gonna put it on top. And then I got a hammer and a nail, and I'm gonna poke a hole to, on, in the center just to get it started. There you go, so we've got a hole in the center to put our things in. That should be big enough. Okay, next, you've got your turnbuckle. What's really cool about the turnbuckle is it unscrews one way on one side, and it unscrews the opposite way on the other side. Next, you're going to take your screw and you're going to put your hex nut on. Hopefully I have the right side. Maybe not. Yep, I had the opposite one. Alright, so screw it on. Then you're going to put your flat washer on. And next you're going to take one of your rubber washers. And you're going to put that one on. Okay, that took a little bit of extra pressure to get it on. And then you're going to screw it down a bit. Okay. Then we're going to put our screw in through the hole. If it's not big enough, go ahead and use your nail to make it bigger. Okay, so to help keep it a little bit watertight, we're going to do a dab of hot glue at the base and then screw that uh, washer down. And then just go ahead and screw it down. Okay. All right. So 
Now we're going to do another washer. We'll put a little dab of super of uh, hot glue at the bottom. Then we'll put the flat washer on top, and then we'll start to screw our turnbuckle on. Okay. Okay, so I got it down there, and now I'm just screwing the turnbuckle all the way down. <clears throat> so there you have it. You've got your one screw, you've got the nut, you've got the flat washer, and you've got your rubber washer and a little bit of hot glue. And on this side, we've got a little bit of hot glue, the rubber washer, and then the flat washer, and then your turnbuckle. So it's pretty sturdy, okay? And there's your antelope. Okay, so we're gonna fill it with water. There you go. And I also recommend, so you don't encourage mosquitoes breeding, to put in some mosquito bits just to stop them from breeding in the water because it's going to be sitting there for a while. The carabiner. And then that carabiner will hang on the hook in your uh, back porch. So I hung it up. I actually hung a little bit of picture wire because if I didn't it would have been too close to the top of the porch so a little bit of picture wire to have it hang down a little bit lower that way the ants don't have easier access and there you've got your hummingbird feeder with your ant moat and that should last for weeks without having to add more water to it.